They say that love makes a man do strange things. I could tell you about the first time I saw Fiona. I could tell you about the start of our friendship, which was basically just a mixture of tears and each of us pulling stupid faces to cheer the other one up. They say that a love makes a man do strange things, and I can absolutely vouch for that. Like how I used to go on short walks to clear my head, but every time ended up trekking for the same six miles in the same huge circle which every time took me past Fiona's house. Or oh, that time, do you remember when it was baking hot outside and I sat in the park for an hour, simply burning in the sun in my ridiculous shorts, just so that we could go for a five minute walk. I could tell you about the seven years of friendship we've had so far. I could tell you about the 18 months of not talking to each other because we were so convinced that we weren't right for each other that we just had to stop being so close. I could tell you about the sleepless nights I had trying to work out if that was right or wrong. But I will tell you this, love makes a man do strange things, so for some reason we were just never able to see in that time how right we are for each other. Fiona, when I first met you, I was captivated. It wasn't love at first sight, just friendship, and for that, I truly am glad. There's something about you, Fiona, something I can't describe, because you're special and you're unique, and you are made that way. You're generous, you're kind, especially to those who are most vulnerable. These are all things that I love about you. You're also beautiful, today especially, even if I forget to say it sometimes. Like, have you done something to your hair, or is, is that a new dress? Yeah, cool. <laughs> they say that love makes a man do strange things. Like, stand in front of a room full of people and read out some poetry about love. <laughs> like, even writing a poem in the first place, because somehow the words just won't go on the page unless you do it in that way. Because only this has the right musicality for you. They say love makes a man do strange things, and I can vouch for that because I've seen it. Because John's love for Fiona is so deep and so profound that for some reason he has agreed to let me take care of her. I know that Fiona and I being together and being married is not an accident of chance. Rather, she's the woman whom God chose for me before time itself existed which means that there is a huge amount of responsibility on me to care for her, to cherish her, to look after her, to love her with more than words but my entire life. That isn't an easy job. And I know that. Being the husband of Fiona means more than two people just living close together. It means more than two people standing in front of others and saying some words. It means we're joined. It means that I need to treat her just as I would treat myself. And actually, John, I promise I'll treat her better. Because I know that you will always love her more deeply than I could ever understand. I know that because when I phoned John to ask for Fiona's hand in marriage after only three months of us going out, he asked me only one question and it totally threw the really nervous Evan that had this whole script planned out in his head and this was not on the script. What John asked me was this, how do you intend to take care of Fiona? At the time I thought that he meant financially, perhaps poking fun of the fact that I'm a student and my main source of income is a student loan. So I answered with the first sensible answer that came to my nervous wreck of a mind. I said, 
hard work. More recently, however, that question has begun to mean something even more poignant. What John was really asking me in that moment was, how are you going to make sure that you always treat Fiona as your best and always give her your best? So here, John, is my carefully thought out answer. Hard work. <laughs> because I know it's not always going to be easy, but I will always work hard to give Fiona my best, to care for her as she deserves to be cared for. They say that love makes a man do strange things. But I've never heard them say that love makes a man do great things. Still, Fiona, I hope that I will. And the greatest thing I can think to do for you is to always put you before myself. I know that this is a great thing because someone once did that for me. And without that great love of Jesus, which made him put me before himself none of this would be happening today but I'm glad that we're here because it means that he showed his love so we would have an amazing example one which I hope to follow to the best of my ability for the rest of my life Fiona, I do some pretty strange things. And I'm sorry, because that's not going to stop. But the greatest strange thing, I will never stop. Because the greatest strange thing I've had the privilege to do is love you. I love you. <laughs>